You're listening to littlepodcast.com. It's basically a printer of flavors inside there. Okay. Now I want a fucking octopus. <laughs> if I told you there was the insurance agent rule 34. Oh, there's a lot of that. Banned from the red pill sub for 45 days. It doesn't matter. Nothing fucking matters anymore. Well, I agree with that. Welcome to Born in the 80s, episode 304. I'm your host, Jonathan Dangerer, and I am joined by my co-hosts. Matt Haig. And TJ May. <laughs> That's right. You guys use your actual names. I'm not even using my real name. No one it's can know it. To protect the innocent? It's to protect yeah. my Twitter, my first, my Twitter persona, my first persona, if you will. I was, I was told growing up to never use my real name on the internet. So you're just following yeah. that rule. Yeah. First Amendment rights. I, I was can just, say whatever the hell I want. I was just following orders. Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm parched, and I was waiting to start the podcast. This I've got a small town brewery, unique ingredients with an unmistakable taste of nostalgia. Small Town Brewery makes specialty beers that utilize unique ingredients. <laughs> no mistake. Okay, I read that in the wrong direction. I read that the manga unique style. taste of garbage. Rachel. This beer, this is beer flavored with spices. We like to think of it as a dark spiced ale with vanilla and honey notes. Best served chilled or poured in a glass over ice. We know you'll enjoy it. We do. <laughs> ale with the 5.9% alcohol by volume. This is... Not your father's root beer, and I took. All right, I'm gonna do a whiff and just kind of, kind of just. I didn't here. know that was actually beer. I thought oh, it was just like a Mike's that smells hard like root beer, situation. but also a strong. It, it smells like malt liquor, to be honest. Yeah, I don't think calling this beer. I mean, malt liquor is fermented. I think, but it yeah, isn't so. beer. But it isn't beer. But yeah, usually right. that's what stuff like that is. It's just like a soda with. Like grain, yeah. grain alcohol added yeah. in or something. Yeah, Lauren wanted to buy it because she it makes bad she didn't decisions. want to drink beer and wanted to try it, and it was like on sale or something. So I'm gonna, or here we go, down the hatch. We're gonna do. <laughs> Not a lot. I mean, I could, I guess, I get the root beer. It's not as alcoholy as I was worried about, so that's that's good. It basically just tastes like a vanilla soda, maybe. Okay. You know, not like cream soda, but <laughs> just get it's those just... mouth noises all up in the podcast. Yep, yep. <laughs> um, no, uh, so it tastes like if somebody took like, I got to imagine like vodka, right? Yeah. And they poured a bunch of like vanilla extract and then grabbed like 50 of those like root beer barrel candies and <laughs> just dropped them in there and let them dissolve and then stirred it up and then poured like cups of sugar in there. And that still so, does not sound bad. It isn't bad, honestly. It tastes like sugar water that is probably alcoholic. And by probably it is, it's 6%. Yeah, of course. So I'll yeah, have a couple of like, here and I'll be, I'll be good. Nothing. I'll be taken off. Um, so anyway, yeah. So that's uh, that's what I'm drinking. Come TJ, on. what do you what do you got? Well, my phone keeps you were, falling. But you were talking about how you had a uh, a lot of oh, soda. Yeah. Well, I'm already halfway done with it. Okay, Jesus so how much? Christ. How many ounces is a liter? Um, like what, how many 30, ounces are, are in a liter? Um, well, it's one point zero five quarts. Okay. Um, so a quart is What's that 64? in American? Uh, well, a quart is what? 16 ounces? No, no. A pint is 16 ounces. A quart is two pints. So it's a, a quart is is 32 ounces? That, yeah, because a gallon's 64, right? Yeah. No, a gallon's 128. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah four because, quarts in a times. gallon. Yeah, so thir- it's just over 32 ounces. Okay. Or, we'll yeah. just say it's 33 ounces. Okay. Okay. So that is 53 ounces of soda you're going to drink. Yes, 100%. That's too much. I'm, I'm not already, a doctor. I'm already two-thirds of the way done with the Mountain Dew. Is one of those diet at least? No? No. No. This is all sugar. That's like... That's like two... That's like... See this can? 
That's like yep. that much sugar you're just pouring in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's you're, what you're these gonna... two bottles are as well, so. You're going to die right, on, on the show. I got two different tonight, flavors. TJ. No, but TJ I, is... I, 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 I have to do you... this like I did with the one No, thing. okay. You, are you do... I'm going to describe while you do it. So TJ okay. has a, a Mountain Dew leader and a Cherry Dr. Pepper, and he's double fist drinking both of them at the same time. Getting the suicide. You remember that <laughs> when you go to... I used to do that all the time when you get yeah. soda. You'd be like, I want the suicide. So you get every I, every drink. It's all of it. I, I make sodas all the time, especially when you get a fr- Coke freestyle machine. Yes. There's so much good things you can mix yeah. together in that. Actually, one of my favorite mixes. I've got two favorite soda mixes. Um, one is um, because at Burger King, they used to like tell you what to mix. They're like, hey, these two go good <laughs> like together. Soda and cocktails. that is Coke or it was Coke there. So Coke and Sprite, half and half. Yep, that's good. It's good. It's like a lemon lime Coke. You know, they make like le- they made like lemon or lime Pepsi. So it's kind of the same thing. Yep. Um, um, I, I go one step further, especially if I have Pepsi products. Okay. Is especially if you can get it to set to settle where they don't start mixing. You have a bottom layer of your cola. Okay. And then you get your citrus thing, Mountain Dew, Mellow Yellow in the middle. And then you get your lemon lime on top. Okay. And you want to kind of keep that as separate as possible. Stratified layers of soda. Yes, um, I call it a nuclear sunrise. Okay. I mean, That's yeah. That's because it, it goes from sweet and smooth um, to sweet and heavy to just yeah. heavy. I like it. Drops like a bomb. There you go. Yep. Drops it like a motherfucking bomb. I the other one of the other combos I always liked. Now this is something that I could only do at Edgewood. When we had the cafeteria, the oh, college yep. we attended, mm-hmm. where we had all you could drink drinks when you bought your like meal or whatever, because it was meal ticket. You got like one meal and it was all you could eat basically each meal. And um, I would get and fill up a, a, a thing with with uh, like half Sierra Mist because I think they had Pepsi products. And then I would pour in the other half grape soda or not grapes, but grape juice. Ooh. Grape juice and Sierra Mist is awesome. And I called it Purple Haze. The <laughs> drink I called it. And uh, it was good. Just imagine like a, a carbonated grape juice. Okay. Yeah, very that good. sounds really good. It was very good. Um, I actually still try and make that from time to time. But I don't buy a lot of grape juice. So My, my ultimate mix, or at least uh, I've got a few good mixes. Kingdom but... Hearts ultimate mix soda Kingdom drop. Hearts ultimate mix. 22 Man, Pepsis would... over 38 Coca-Colas. I was just listening to the Kingdom Hearts and Taxes episode. Okay. Got some, <laughs> there was some good stuff there. Um, but uh, if you have access to a Coke freestyle machine, um, pre-changes, um, because they added some new flavors recently. Okay. Um, what you take is you do a – and you can substitute with diet anywhere here because it's Coke freestyle. You can do that all the time. But if you do um, three parts – Oh, excuse me. Oh, I knew that was coming. <laughs> this is a hacked menu segment. Improv it is. Too. Yeah. Three parts. Um, cherry mellow yellow. Okay. And one part lime Fanta. Mm. And you get a caffeinated carbonated cherry limeade. Oh, that it's, sounds good. It's smooth. It goes well together. I really cherry, enjoyed that one. Cherry limeade is one of my favorites. I love lime flavored stuff though. So yeah. I'm a sucker. I love just Lime Fanta itself. Now, Plain. I said pre the changes because yeah. there now is a Limeade Mellow Yellow that shows up on the Coke Freestyle machine. Oh, nice. So you can do Limeade and then mm-hmm. add Cherry? Um, if you want to do something not caffeinated because you don't want something that's going to drop and be heavy, yeah. Um, there's a great Powerade mix that I do. Okay. Um, that is my version of the Fruit Punch because I hate... Man, this phone is sucking um yep it's an iphone so yeah but <laughs> but i hate face. uh <laughs> i hate the uh the fruit punch that's in a coke freestyle machine because it's way too heavy on the pineapple flavor and okay i'm not a big fan so i'll make my own fruit punch powerade by mixing together cherry strawberry orange and not raspberry it's another flavor uh lemon Cherry, strawberry, orange, and lemon. So you just DIY fruit punch. Yes. 
That's a lot. So you're the guy in front of me that takes an hour on the freestyle machine. I'm like, <laughs> no, get the fuck out of here. I well, before barks. I get up there, I know what I want. Fair enough. And it's going to take yeah. me half a second to get it's there. Like, right, do, 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 do. Done. Yeah. They should let you have like a like a keychain, like a key fob. You know? Like, there's a Coke, you free can, so- there's you a can Coke just... freestyle app that you can do. Really? You're supposed to connect it to the machines. Yes. Oh, that's good. Because then you're just like, <laughs> I know what I want. Dial it yeah. up. You, you set your Give mixes the and you can actually have it. Dispense the uh, dispense the mix for you. Do you think that they do a suicide option with that, where you could get every single flavor that they have on the machine at once? Now, I've actually seen the inside of it because I used to work at Noodles and Company and used to service yeah, yeah. one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's basically a printer of flavors inside there. Okay. There are twelve. That's fantastic. There are twelve big, essentially sugarless mixes, and twelve small sugarless mixes. The big ones are the flavors you'd expect, like the Coke, the Coke Zero, um, the Powerade base, the Diet Coke base, etc. Um, and then the the little ones are going to be things like the vanilla, the lemon, the raspberry, and all of that. And then it pumps in um, HFCS, it pumps in you know high fructose corn syrup for the sugared options. It pumps in NNS, which is the non nutritive sweetener for the ne- uh, for the diet options. It does. It has a water pull in. It has a CO two pull in, and it just does it all at once. Um, I am going to say uh, just a word to the wise: if you're if you're very, I don't want to say germaphobic, but if you're worried about things, um, I know that I always took very good care of my Coke freestyle machine. Yeah. But if if it ever just feels wrong, please do not drink out of a Coke freestyle machine. If you got one <laughs> nozzle. And if they're not cleaning that nozzle, it's going to give you some nastiness. Mm. Maybe edible, but I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Mm. I wouldn't push I, for it. I went to a Coke free. I mean, I can't remember what it was. It was like a Coke freestyle. Oh, it was at the uh, movie theater at like the AMC that, that mm-hmm. used to be the Sundance downtown Madison or in Hilldale. And uh, we got up to it and it had like two flavors. Like everything else was grayed out. And I was like, fucking seriously? At a movie theater? Like you're not going to have. It means the they're not one, taking care of I mean, the one soda machine. Now, the weird thing with that is I mentioned, you know, how there's the big flavors, you know, the big yeah. bases, you know, the root beer and whatnot. Yep. Yep. The big one for Coke. Yeah. The only dispense that actually pulls from regular Coke is yeah. regular Coke with no flavors. Okay. Because if you pull any flavored Coke, it actually pulls from the Coke Zero mix but pulls regular sugar. Whoa, so it adds sugar to Coke Zero? It adds sugar to a Coke Zero mix. Because they... I always thought it didn't taste exactly right. You know what I mean? But the if Coke. you did it with if you did it with a Coke base, yeah. it would be off to in a different direction. Mm. So it's actually a closer recipe by using the Coke Zero base when you're mixing a flavor like a cherry, a vanilla, yeah. or whatnot. Fair enough. But I always Are thought we gonna that, get like, shut cherry... down for sharing these secrets. Yeah, it's like, like get Coca-Cola freestyle fucking hacks right now. <laughs> so what you got to do is you got to tap Barks four times. We're like reverse then... engineering the Coca-Cola formula mm-hmm. by no, seeing I actually... what ingredients they put in. Well, well, here's the thing. I actually know how to get to the uh, to the system menu, and it's not oh, yeah. actually going to uh, do anything because you won't actually know what's showing up. It's just how you kind of help change things or just pull through straight yeah. sh- sugar water or whatnot. We used to do a thing at, I forget where it was, or not a thing, but like I used to watch, I forget the damn name of the show. It was Kevin Rose did this show before Dig was like a thing. Uh, it was about hacking stuff, and they had like how like common vending machine styles and ways to get free food out of them by like yeah. hitting buttons, like and hold, you know what I mean? Like the reset modes and stuff that you could do the diet. So like, yeah, some like of them, for if you lo- like. The longest time, a lot of that stuff had like diagnostic modes just to make it easier for testing shit in the factory and they yeah. didn't count on those ever like becoming public knowledge so they just didn't yeah. secure them in any way i mean most of them got probably patched and fixed so you probably have a hard time but it was kind of one of those things you were like you'd see me like okay this is like this is a bronson 742 if i hit if i hold the coin return thing in and then press 999 and then hold like the dispense button <laughs> It should give me zero prices, you know, prices for everything I hit, so I can, 
anyway no but like stuff like that's kind of neat like in the back door kind of yeah, like phone like freaking cheat codes back for in the life. day yeah, yeah like well uh, with the the old captain crunch whistle and stuff where you yeah, just the, like the phone whistle freaking the correct stuff tones. is so cool yeah, I don't know if, if if you haven't read about foam freaking or anything, but some of that, I would suggest a a long Wikipedia hold. You'd go down on that, but like yeah, like Matt said, there was a Captain Crunch promotional whistle that you would get, and if you dialed in, I think it was like what what uh, whatever was it Bell? What was the name of the phone company? Uh, anyway, uh, if you if you if you I called the phone company and you whistled the correct tones, it would do like a free long distance call uh uh you know it would connect you or whatever or it would allow you to t- to type in a long distance number so it's like kind of a weird thing or you could get like root into like the back door like phone operator systems if you do the right tones because it was all tone based yeah like because it yeah. would just like have machines it had set up to play a travel tone. on like telephone wires yeah so. exactly so it was and well i mean you can put data on telephone wires with you know with dsl but <laughs> They didn't have that technology, you know, they, they could relay everywhere back in the day. So they had just tones that would play. And yeah, it's a whole thing to go down, but that was kind of a neat thing. And, uh, and what, you know, you hear about people doing that shit. And what was the cool. Bell in the Midwest called? I know Bell South, but that wasn't up here. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. What are the phone companies in the 80s? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> it was Ma Bell. Uh, yeah, there's Ma Cable. No, wait, is Ma Bell and AT and T the uh, same thing? There was Ameritech. Oh, the breakup of the Bell system. So there was AT and T, Ameritech, Bell Atlantic, Bell South, NYNEX, Pacific Telesis, Southwestern Bell, and US West, also known as Quest, which became CenturyLink. Um, whereas it looks like. Bell Atlantic and New- Bell New York merged to be Verizon. Um, and AT&T, Ameritech, Southwestern Bell, uh, Pacific Telsis all became AT&T. So, so essentially all, like, we haven't had a new phone company ever. Yeah, basically. Okay. Uh, but er- originally, before it was broken out into the Bells, AT&T was the one phone company. <laughs> Uh, and then they had to break it out into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight companies. So, um, in 1982, um, so there must have been other ones too. Other other ones. Uh, so it wasn't the one, but there was like one that was basically every phone company. Um, I, I remember there must have been one around here. I don't know. Bell. Well, Alexander Tell Graham Bell. Yeah, I know. So. So well, back in the uh, the pioneer days, uh, yeah. instead of rolling out like a nationwide phone oh. wire network, they were just kind of yeah. like, we sh- we have conductors all over the place, and they just built a phone network that tapped into the barbed wire fences that were everywhere. So like farmers would have their own like hacked. We in had phone uh, that hooked GTE up to the North. We had Wisconsin Bell. Well, was there just a Wisconsin a Bell? It was Wisconsin series? Bell, which um, which is a, an Ameritech company. So, all right, L- looks like I'm seeing logos for things like Illinois Bell, Michigan Bell, Indiana Bell, Ohio Bell. Mm. Yeah, I remember all the Wisconsin Bell commercials and the old logo. Well, now that we've figured that out, <laughs> let's move on. Uh, speaking of that, TJ, why don't we talk about new phones? Since let's just segue right into it. Yeah. So, um. So podcast listeners will know that my, you know, I am recording from a phone um, and I've been uh-huh. recording from a phone. And um, when I was dealing with data issues, I went ahead and got my Cricket employee plan um, and was using that phone. And then that became my daughter's cell phone. So I kept having to borrow it from her. Well, now I'm just on my own Cricket plan. I Nice. You, I used, well, I'm together with my daughter. I I wanted to do that recently because my employee plan ended because GameStop is no longer part of Cricket or associated with Cricket at all. Oh, um, they have any uh, mobile phone company? No, no mobile phone company partnered with GameStop. Wow. Anymore. So um, I did this. If you do a deal where you where you port in a number, yeah, um, you get a phone at a reduced rate. So I did that to purchase a phone, but then I also purchased a SIM card. 
got my phone on my old phone unlocked and just went back to my phone I've been using. Nice. The the iPhone I've been using for two and a half years now. iPhone four um, S, five S, six S. Nice. Six S. That's a good phone. It's the last one before they took out the headphone jack. Ha <laughs> ha. I saw that the uh, Galaxy S9 announced that it had the headphone jack still and is waterproof. Yep. Hey, you can do it all. So, so yeah, so I went ahead and... They didn't I've... make the revolutionary change <laughs> to remove the phone jack. They're just or not the, brave the enough. Headphone jack. Yeah, it, oh, exactly. Not... <laughs> they didn't have AirPods that they wanted to sell, so... But I had a, you know, I, I did all the changes, which took a little bit of processing, and then... Yeah. um. So now um, I am no longer on Sprint, um, and as of today, my wife is also no longer on Sprint. We are all together on a month-to-month -month plan. I know that you know you get less options for phones, or if you do get phones, you have to pay for them outright. Yeah. But if I ever want to change, I can change any time because yeah. I'm on a, no a contract list. Well, and you have a phone that you've paid for, correct? Like. Yes, this one is completely yeah, paid so for. Yeah. So you're just like a free agent. You're just like yep. I can do whatever I want with this phone. It's unlocked. I do what I want, uh, which is nice. I, that I love. I, I I would love to do that, but I have U.S. Cellular, and I really like U.S. Cellular service in this area. And oh yeah, they I do bet. not have the ability to use many unlocked phones because they have a very small list of phones that they support. Like, mm -hmm. I, if I wanted like the essential phone, nah. If I wanted any of like the OnePlus phones, nope. It's only like Samsung for Android, and then the yeah. iPhones they have all of them, but. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to get another phone because I'm buying a house and getting married. So I have, I looked at my bank account, TJ. Yep. I have tens of thousands of dollars. And it yeah, is that's all, all going, going away. This is, this yep. is John's bragging segment. It's I'm not John, bragging. And I have responsible amounts of money in my it account. It is not in any way bragging because I was given gifts for the wedding from families from both our families and that's all there so it's oh, like cheating. here it is and then two months from now i'm gonna have zero in the bank so it's great all that savings is going away <laughs> i'm not looking forward to but it's okay um yeah so it's fine it's fine i'm just like I'm, i have to be like super frugal now because i was talking to lauren about this and i was like you know, we have all this money, but we cannot spend a penny. Like, I'm just like, I'm going to eat, I eat ramen tonight for dinner, which I, I like ramen. I make it all the time anyway. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I, I, I usually, I cooked up a, uh, like a smoked sausage and then chopped it up. And then I put some peas and carrots and some frozen corn in there and yeah. use some sesame oil. And yeah, yeah. No, I made delicious ramen. Which I like to do. Um, did you but... slice up a hard boiled egg and throw it in there? Yes, I did. Well, no, not a hard boiled egg. I, I like to cook it. Like, oh, egg uh... drop it. No, yeah. I, I cook it like, uh, whatchamacallit, just like it over easy. And then drop oh, it in okay. there and then the yolk pops and melts in there. Well, that sounds good. Oh, yeah, it is. It's easy, too, because you just fry it up and then pour it in Yeah. <laughs> on top. <laughs> um, anyway, so. No, no, no. I make a mean ramen. You know, I buy the good stuff. None of this Marsh Marshan ramen. I can afford the Ichiban ramen, which costs a dollar a brick instead of twenty five cents a brick. <laughs> I can I can splurge on myself. It used to be six for a buck. Yeah, well, nah, man, times have changed. You only get four for a buck now. Oh. Mm. I used to eat ramen as a kid all the time. My mom used to make it. We she, we called it funny noodle soup. Is what we called it. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, fantastic. Uh-huh. Uh, we'd be like, can I have funny noodle soup? So I loved it. I've loved noodles since uh, an early age. So, Well, cool, TJ. I'm glad to hear you've got uh, the ability to do that. Um, yep, so now I'm using my own phone for this podcast. Things nice. are a bit more wider screen, a bit crisper for image. because it, it really does look good. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, because the crappy phone my daughter I, has. I have a feeling like the audio quality is a lot higher as well. So A little better. It's it sounds higher. Close. I mean, I'm looking at myself on the stream too, and it's 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 looking a lot better than it ever has yeah. in a while. Oh yeah, um, cool. So everything's coming up, too. TJ. So yeah, I think I had alluded to this, but yeah, I'm, we're we're moving house at the end of the month here. So yay, I'm packing. There's boxes behind yay. me. Everything's getting packed. I I would, I'm not gonna move this thing because like 
right here is fine, but if you were to look at the group, it's just garbage all over the floor around me. Because I'm like basically tearing out shelves and going through stuff, and I haven't gotten garbage bags up here to start sifting through the throwaway stuff. So You've cleaned up the table behind you, too. There's like nothing left over there. Yeah, there isn't. I've packed that away, the recording equipment, because I no, I'm not going to record a podcast in, in the apartment for now, but... God, this new man, this new house. Why did yeah. I b- agree? To, why did I agree to do this? <laughs> <laughs> My mortgage is going to be five hundred dollars a month more than I'm paying for rent. That's oh, so much money. That sounds really stressful. It is. It uh, is. And it isn't because I did get a new job. And I'm making definitely more than five hundred dollars a month than I was making at my old job, so I can afford it, you know. But it's been nice this year of having the same rent but making a lot more money. Where I'm just like, I can like save and invest and do all of this stuff with my money. Well, and now and, I won't have that. Well, you'll be earning equity though. That's true. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. We're gonna have five percent down on the house, so almost enough to sell it if we had to. Because you usually get pay the realtor six percent when you sell it, so almost enough equity to sell it if we had to, and 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 break <laughs> out even. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, anyway, but uh, no, no, no. We're doing okay. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Just the wedding's gonna suck ass because hey. we still have to pay for oh. everything. So, uh, so Matt. You yep. said something in a in a podcast I'm listening to now, because I've been I'm in the middle of, of finishing up the Kingdom Hearts and Taxes episode yes. of this, and apparently you must have slipped a little uh, nugget into my unconscious brain, because you mentioned your um you that you could download an app on your phone to stream your phone games on Twitch, uh-huh. yeah, and so people can watch and play Adventure Capitalist, yeah, I just uh-huh. to which look I'm look definitely at my kids. not playing right now. <laughs> I happened to just look at my kid's tablet, and apparently they had downloaded it. Yeah. And they had already unlocked the moon, but hadn't done anything there. And I'm really addicted to just doing the moon oh, stuff. Oh, come on. Oh, it's so Adventure good. Capitalist I play it all like, day at work. You guys are like six years behind me because I played like all of Adventure Capitalist on Congregate. Oh, I liked Adventure Capitalist before it was cool. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In about four days of play, um, I'm in the... Oh, what's that weird number for 20? Because I'm in the Quattro Vincillion, I think is what it is. Which is... Uh, 24, yeah, that sounds right. So 24 times 3, that's 72 plus 3 zeros. A one with with seventy five zeros is about how high I can get up before I kind of like plateau on my current go through. I've got yeah. like um, octillion angels, angel investors on that thing. Yeah, yeah I'm just uh, just trying to get that one percenter event right now. <laughs> just trying to max oh, is that, that out. going on right now? Yeah. Uh, for the next two days and 20 hours. <laughs> I, was do- I-, I was doing the black and blue light sales or savings event last week, but that's yeah. about it. Well, yeah, all you got to do with the events is just like uh, do the what, whatever it's called when you claim <laughs> your angel investors. Just claim your angel investors over and over again. John, you, you need to, you need to, uh, what do they call it in this game? Ascend. What? You need to ascend. Yeah, what? you gotta ascend. Why? Just ascend. Because you'll get to this point really easily, and then you'll ascend again for like oh. a million things. I've got two hundred and two sugar lumps, man. That's a that's a good Well let's yeah. see what I can buy. I can buy a hundred wizard towers. Let's just fucking do it. Fine. Do that. hundred mines. So Oh yeah. Upgrades. Alright, yeah. Alright, well let's ascend. I mean, since I was told to. Wait, no. Yes. Do I, to, first, do I have to spend my yet. sugar lumps first? I don't know. What those sugar lumps do? It's a new Cookie. thing. Okay. Um, oh, it's right here? Okay, yeah, yeah. So you can use your sugar lumps to level up your cursors. Or I can level up. And, and then you want to you wanna focus your, your money on grandmas. Yeah, you want to get these hot strats. Uh-huh. If you, okay. Uh, oh, I've used up all my sugar lumps. Yeah, in a... In, in the okay. moons, in the moon planet on uh, Adventure Capitalist, you want to focus on your uh, oxygen bars. 
Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. All right. I've up, okay. I got to spend that my. Really I got to work on my. Uh, yeah. Got to work on my uh, cookie clicker build here. Yeah. Um, and, and and the yeah. first couple ascensions, I, I don't spend any of my um, golden or don't spend any of your golden chips or whatever it is. Just go ahead. Heavenly and, chips. Heavenly chips. Whatever. Um, um, I've actually spent spent a lot. I think I already have this one. Yeah, I already. I think my I don't cookie think I even cl- clicker playthrough got you corrupted. You don't have to respend the chips every time they they go from ascension to ascension. Yep. Okay. Because I, I got to respend optimal... the angels every time. All right. Oh yeah, yeah, baby. Oh, I got Satan next. All right, let's reincarnate. See, if, if I remember correctly, the the angels, um. Because you have angels and devil side, right? Devil yeah. side is is more for idle play, and angels is more for active play. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that that's that's some cookie clicker. So yeah, we haven't had a cookie clicker update in a while. Uh huh. I'd yeah, have Matt. to start over if I like somehow my save got corrupted, so I'd have to start over. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't yeah. have to do that. I see. Well, I'm t- I'm tempted, but if I do, I'll probably ascend earlier. Yeah, just just, just a, you know, ascend it. They usually want you to ascend with about hundred, but I'll probably ascend it at like six or eight, and then I'll ascend again at like twenty, and then that way, because I'll ascend have ascend every five minutes. In in adventure forever. capitalist on the moon, I'm ascending about every like ten or fifteen minutes. It's it's that good. Yeah. I bought my first grandma. And now I have a million cookies in about three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Grandmas are powerful, baby. Yep. I'm gonna buy ten of them. Yeah, I'm just gonna and be I'm just gonna be here investing. And yeah. So anyway, investing. you guys have fun with the podcast. I am uh, busy I'm now. Okay. I'm claiming my um, angel. I'm a pro again, cookie so clicker I'm player go. right now. I'm uh, joining the cookie yeah. click league. So Matt, let's talk about something you maybe don't know as much about. Should we go over okay. to the, the uh, details of the Nintendo Direct? Yeah, because I missed this. The only thing I saw was the big trailer tease at the end. I saw yep. the all of the memes. Yep. All of the Actually, memes. My favorite, my, my favorite meme from this week doesn't have anything to do with the Direct. It's about uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, which just got announced. Oh, yeah, there's a good Skate 4 meme on that one. It's just... The Roman numerals being I I I I yeah has been being That's named not all how the time. That works. It, it isn't. Well, on on some things, some clocks have four eyes, but not all clocks. Oh well, Matt's got four eyes. What <laughs> up? Clocks have four eyes. I, 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 I can't even find my glasses. Matt's got four eyes. Oh, he got it. He got it. Yep. I'm trying to multitask and become like a super rich dude. And... <laughs> what was that? I'm trying to. It's, it's it's very demanding to play the adventure capitalist lifestyle and also have the MLG horns on ready. Yeah, we should probably uh, you know focus on podcasts and. Not oh right, right, yeah, <laughs> Matt, Okay. TJ what asked you a question. What, what are we the doing? Nim, the Nintendo Direct. Okay, my favorite part, I'm just going to start off <laughs> with the Nintendo Direct, was, hey, let's talk about 3DS. It was the first thing. Yep. And they're like, hey, we had a 3DS game coming out in 2019. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> okay, I guess they're really sticking with the 3DS. 3DS is not dead at all. Um, Give me yes. everything on the fucking Switch, you goddamn monsters. Yep, so... uh I mean, let alone the fact that they skipped a Mario and Luigi remake. Yes! Because they skipped Partners in Time. And they went yeah. right to Mouse's Inside Story. Yeah, they're making it. Well, I mean, everyone loved Inside Story. It was like everyone's yeah, favorite. I know, it was but, great. But Partners in uh, Time still Put it on the fucking it. Switch, goddammit! I don't need two fucking screens. <laughs> this all smacks of stuff, though, that they had already being developed before the Switch blew up. Uh, WarioWare Gold, which is kind of a WarioWare compilation. That- it's because they said that it's gonna it's gonna have touch screen, it's gonna have have Mike, like the, the dual screen, microphone, the twist, all, all the stuff that it's everything from all of the handheld WarioWare games. Not every. I mean, you game. can do everything but the mic with the Switch. So yeah, exactly. You have the touch screen, but only in handheld and, mode, and you have gyro. Yeah, 
So and you can do worked. the mic if you hook your phone up to a convoluted contraption. <laughs> yeah, if you get the I, whole... Actually, technic- the, the, the audio jack, when you're in handheld mode, the audio jack does have the mic tech in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not just... Like not... If you had, like, a headphones with, like, a built-in mic, you'd be able to do it. Like this. Like what yeah. I'm wearing right now. Or even, We'll get like... to that. Johnny, we'll get to that, because we're going to go through the whole list. Um, we got, we've got oh. a chatter today. Oh, God. Um, He's demanding... So yeah, so 3DS stuff that got the Dylan's Dead Heat Breakers, which looks interesting. The yeah, Mario that Luigi looks Bowser's... really cool. So is that like a Nintendo property? Like... Yeah, uh, Dylan's like Rolling Western. Yeah, I because heard of that. Di- because Dylan's a uh, what was it? Armadillo. Armadillo. I was gonna say an Aardvark. I'm like, fuck, no. it's not an Aardvark. No. That's, <laughs> I've not uh, played Dylan's Rolling Western, but Arthur. I've heard of it. I mostly heard of it through uh, the panels on the 3DS that you'd unlock through Street Pass. Oh really? Mm-hmm. God, my 3DS has not been turned on in months. Yeah. Like a long time. I've not done much on it at all. Detective Pikachu looks like, looks cute and whatever as fuck. I want to play this game. That looks really interesting. Yeah. I'm kind of interested in Detective Pikachu. Uh, I like the voice they got. And then they, they completely... Not Danny tr- DeVito, but good yeah. enough. Yeah, I don't know which voice they did for the 3DS, and they got Ryan Reynolds for the movie. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do they get but, like um, a Ryan Reynolds sound alike for the game? No, because mm. I think they casted him first. They just didn't announce yeah. him. Um, but they freaking trolled us with the Luigi's Mansion 3DS port. Yeah, I know. Like, what they're making the GameCube game for 3DS when everyone's still clamoring for make I put GameCube games on the Switch. Yeah, it it's kind kind of insane. Yeah. Like, that they're just like, hey, we're putting a bunch of shit on on the 3DS still. And it's like, dudes, Switch is where it's at, man. Fuck. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, you guys have a mobile thing already. I know. It's the Switch. And then they, and then they jumped to the Nintendo Switch at that point. Yeah. Well, and to e- be fair, even in this, the 30-minute 30, 30 long direct, like six minutes of it were 3DS. Well, so, until we get to the cross, uh, until we get to the the dual releases. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, Kirby Star Allies is coming out, and they're announcing oh, a full Kirby game, like full straight Kirby up game. full Kirby game. Coming well, they out. announced it a while ago, but we got more information on it, including the fact that they're bringing back like old allies and just a bunch of old characters that you can yeah. now play as. Yeah, King the Dude fucking Dude, uh, the fucking uh, the hamster from uh, yeah, the second the game, Game Boy game. The blob, I love it. the blob from Dreamland Three. Yeah. He's in oh, there? Yeah. yeah. Um, Okami Nintendo, HD. where's a virtual console? Yeah. God damn that. it. But you say that, but we're getting games. Like, not Nintendo games. We're getting <laughs> games on Nintendo. Okami yeah. HD is coming digital to uh, uh, digital. Um, Okami, Octopath. re-released for the 50th time. Yeah, but I, I like that we're finally getting a, a version of the HD version. That lets yeah. you play with the basically the Wii controls. Yeah, because you, you have the the ability to draw with your hand or or touch screen. Or use the touch. Yeah, game. use yeah, yeah. Which Octopath is nice. Traveler talks about how the dual job system works now. Yeah, because they didn't have that in the demo. Got no more heroes, which that looks interesting. Yeah, it's like a no more ones. heroes mini game collection. Yeah, but it still looks fun and co op. Yeah. That one too. Um, yeah, 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 Dark Souls remastered, and the big thing is they announced the amiibo, the uh, Solaire of. Oh, uh, fuck off Sasha. with this amiibo <laughs> that they have. Fucking He's already sold out. I know. They they were even saying like, oh, we have a limited quantity of these, and it, they're only going to be sold online. It's like in the, it's already gone. in the U.S. It's GameStop exclusive, already sold out. That's why I know. It, it's just ridiculous. Like, all right, I'm not even going to think about it. Like. Then they went on a 10-minute rant about Mario Tennis Aces, and the more they talk about it, the more I want to play it. I, I fast-forwarded through that entire part, because I was like, I know what Mario Tennis is going to be, and if uh, I want to play a tennis game, I'm going to buy it. You don't need to sell me on this. No, it's it's a bit more... Uh, it's a bit more... Uh, what's the word? I don't want to uh, say advanced, kawaii? but uh, technical. It's, it's more technical than I ever expected. Okay. Um, in terms of both the way specials work and just even the standard play. Um, and then they let you play. A, you can use most controls if you want. Um, Captain if Toad Treasure want. Tracker. Switch yes. and 3DS. 
with new levels, including ones based off Mario Odyssey. I was actually really pumped for the Treasure Tracker announced because that was a, a I loved those like levels in Super Mario World. And oh yeah, New Super Mario World or no, not New Super. What was it? Uh, Mario 3D World. Mario 3D World. Yes, was yep. that one? Um, yeah, that was. I love that, and it's kind of awesome to be able to get that like more. Yep. More of that, and 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 to play it again because. They 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 had the standalone Wii U version, but I didn't buy that, and uh, I don't think a lot of people did. So, yep. Mm-hmm. Undertale's coming to the Switch for some reason. Okay, so the, actually, the, the Undertale coming to the Switch is even bigger than just that too. Yeah. Because Undertale coming to the Switch also means that uh, Game Maker Studio is available to publish directly to the Switch now. So if you make a game in the game development app Game Maker Studio, which a lot of really famous games have been made in, like Undertale mm-hmm. for one. Yep. Um, you can now export a Switch compatible release, and then you can like send it to Nintendo to have them like decide on whether or not they want to put it in their store. That's pretty fucking cool. Yeah, they they made their system really easy cool. to oh easy yeah to develop. For. This is this is the thing that was the most exciting about the Switch when I heard it come out, and it's the reason I bought the Switch when I did. Well, because it was on sale and, and there were there was one available so i was like fuck i need to get this um and i had the money <laughs> and and then because i knew i was going to want to play mario so i was like might as well fucking buy this now when i can get one um but it turns out you were able to buy one if you wanted like they they're kind of have stock issues but you can find them if you look now so um now it's pretty easy but i think with some of these announcements they'll be yeah. snatched up again yeah so um the but the really cool thing is like the the indie development i'd heard like from people that were like working in development stuff were saying nintendo's working really hard to make this compatible like they're really courting indie studios right now yeah you know, a lot more than the playstation 4 is I, I think microsoft's doing a really good job too yeah um but you know the ps4 is kind of like eh. you know they're they're already pretty open they've always kind of been so it's it's not like anything new but like i think the uh the the xbox is trying really hard to get indie games on it and i know the switch was and it is because the library is huge you've got a lot of really cool re-releases that that work really well on the switch because like it's hey i can play some of my favorite indie steam games portable it's fucking cool yeah and uh yeah so it's 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 a really cool system and um I'm I'm excited to to see where it goes because I wonder if there's going to be a lot of uh, people doing innovative things with like the the motion controls and the Switch has a lot of cool stuff to play with and in the indie world yes. a lot of times you get people that'll t- really take advantage of that. Yeah, so I think I think a lot of that's going to come with how successful Labo is um, in yeah. terms of people oh, really wanting yeah, to I forgot experiment about Labo. that way. Yep. You know, you, you got to have a first party show how to do it right, and then the third parties will be able to create from there. Oh, you know what I like about Labo is that they were talking about how, you know, you buy the, the cardboard packs and the game card, and it's like, hey, if your cardboard fucks up, they it's going to come, you can download instructions on how, like, cut guides. Yeah. You can just buy any cardboard you have and replace That's pieces. Cool. So. I, I want to see people make some of the sh- stuff with sheet metal. Yeah, really exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah, you totally could yeah. do stuff like that, and so it's like once you've paid for the little game card to play the games, you know, you can use. You don't even have to use the same cardboard again. You can make multiples. You know, you can tweak it, do whatever you want. You know, because they're yeah. they're gonna have guides. So I'm gonna go through the next four really quick. Um, yeah, there's a lot. They packed Crash. a lot in 30 minutes. Yeah, a Crash Insane Trilogy, which we already assumed was gonna be. Can we talk about the fucking mascot of the PlayStation? is available on the Nintendo Switch. I know it doesn't weird, but it feels weird. It hasn't been weird since Activision bought them years ago I know, and started making like, multi-release. I guess, but they're like, this like, I mean, I think that the Crash Bandicoot remaster Crash Bandicoot. Was, was PlayStation exclusive for like one year launch. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it kind of felt like a return to PlayStation. Now it's like, nah, yeah, fuck it. Crash Bandicoot's on everything. Yep, it's well, Activision. They, yep. Anything to make more money, you know? Fair enough. And fair yeah. enough. Mm-hmm. Um, if I remember correctly, uh, Crash Bandicoot Mind Over Mutant was uh, Xbox 360 and Wii. wasn't even on a PlayStation mm-hmm. system. 
I'd have yeah, to look we, that up, but can we can we talk about people bitching about that game too? Like people were talking about how, hey, the controls are fucked up. This isn't the Crash Bandicoot I grew up with. Yeah, it was. <laughs> and and like all of the speedrunners play this new version and they're like no this is right <laughs> like yeah <laughs> sorry people but this is actually correct and the developers spent like there are some maybe some minor differences but it's yeah. in terms of actual mm-hmm. gameplay um little nightmares complete editions coming to switch as well i had no clue what that was yeah it's 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 a puzzle platformer it's been it's... on a uh, xbox playstation terrifying it, it's cute and terrifying all at the same time yeah yeah it looks really scary i had never seen that before even though it's been out like yeah a uh, so. self-park fresh but whole i'm like holy crap games it's getting games a lot yeah and it's it's pretty cool um it's it's interesting though too because this like people are like yeah there's all these games on the switch and it's like yeah yeah, yeah. but people are like can we get monster hunter world on the switch and they're Capcom people are like, mm, I don't think so. Can we get can we get double cross in the U.S.? Uh, yeah, you know, because well, that's been that, out in Japan for a that, while. That is something that they could think about now because um, Worlds is doing well here. Yeah, we can segue well. into Monster Hunter World after this because I've been yeah. playing a lot of that. But that is, and Capcom put this out. It is the number one selling Capcom game of all time worldwide. Not surprised. It has sold the most copies. I'm not surprised. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool actually. So, but yeah, there was more Nintendo Direct though. So there's yep. more Hyrule games. Warriors got a release date uh, of May, which is the Switch what, version. Uh, yep. The Switch version. Well, yeah, with all the stuff from 3DS and Wii U, and I'm just really excited that you could pick four characters and now swap between them in the map, just like in uh, in uh, Fire Emblem Warriors and on the 3DS version of Hyrule, yeah. and co-op still a thing. But nice. Splatoon 2 version 3.0. All right, let's get to it. Two words. Well, maybe more than two words. Um, my kids are awake, but I'll I'll do this quietly. Now I want to fuck an octopus. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot more than two words. Yes, I mean I did want to before with Marina, but even more <laughs> this main character, Agent Eight, if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, there. In addition to all the free updates coming out, like the new hundred new pieces of gear, three new stages a new rank for ranked mode, rank X. Uh, the Octo expansion is a paid single-player DLC. What? Paid you... DLC? The it's, 20, Spl- it's 20 bucks. Splatoon gave everything for free. People will buy it. Johnny will buy it. I... I'm super excited for it. I, I love the idea of single... I mean, they're still like talking about, like we got all these free multiplayer maps, we got all this free yep. multiplayer stuff. And then they're like, but we have this like brand new single player campaign that's you know twenty bucks, which is and, awesome. That's a good it, way to do it. And if you, be, oh yeah, Johnny already paid for it. He's already he's already <laughs> pre bought it. He's been playing Splatoon a lot. Oh, so he's now. already an octopus. Yep. Because if you um, if you pre purchase, you can be in. You, or no, no, no. You can wear an octopus shirt. Yes. Because you have to actually beat the expansion to actually become an octoling in online matches. Yeah. Which I want to, because they are, spelt the internet way, thick. T H I C C, and yeah, where's the fan art? Um, uh, can we go? <laughs> can we find some of that right now? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, um a rule thirty four. Rule... <laughs> octolings. No, anyway. Nope. All right, let's move <laughs> off the octolings. Uh, no, I'm I'm a I'm a huge fan of the style of uh, what they've been doing with Splatoon. They've Splatoon 2 has a lot of problems in terms of online play. I don't like a lot of the decisions they've made because, like, fucking let me play more than two maps at a time. It's kind of annoying when you, you know, have, haven't played it for a couple months and then you log in you're like, let's check out these new maps. And it's like, oh, it's just the two maps that I already have played. So I have to, like, There's so much off. Agent 8 fan art already. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> okay, let's let's not let's not get deep into the Asian eight fan art. <laughs> Bookmark? Bookmark. <laughs> Alright, TJ Jesus Christ. This is not this is not the shape of water <laughs> podcast. Oh wait, let me uh, just make a note to Photoshop that real quick and win all of the internet points. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there are a lot 
of Splatoon fan arts on here, huh? <laughs> there sure yep. are. Uh-huh. I, I did a, a Google image search for Agent 8, and there's a lot of stuff that's like one day ago, five hours ago, 12 yeah, hours ago. Yeah, people are already on it. I don't see any Agent 8 Rule 34, though. It's a little too early on. No, it's there. It's there. Oh, I don't I see any. It. I'm a bing. <laughs> now, if I told you there was the insurance Agent Rule 34. Oh, there's a lot of that. Would you I mean, remember the cartoon insurance Agent? Yeah, that sweet I mean, little she was flash a sexy animation little thing. Oh, yeah, I, I forgot about hers. For some reason, I was confusing it with Flo, because there's some of that, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Loads. Let's just... Rule 34 well, not, everything. That's a real person now. That's that's a little creepy. <laughs> like you want you want to like fetishize a cartoon. That's that's your own your own thing. I but mean, when you get e- flowing, insurance lady is just basically Kim Possible. Yeah, <laughs> this is grown up Kim Possible. Yep. This is actually this is a tasteful one. There's no boobs. Jesus, here. John. But it's sexy insurance agent. You know so. Too hot for Twitch. <laughs> too is it, it's not too hot for Twitch. Close. I think it, I think there's a no nipple rule on Twitch. There aren't any nipples in here. Yeah, I know. I, I'm saying I think it's it's <laughs> okay. I'm not going to scroll rules. down though because of the search that I've made. I need to <laughs> safely. I need to safely get back to. All right. Safely get back. Oh yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh yeah. There's some. Hmm. There's some uh, Zoo, Zootopia fan art here that somehow. Started. What. <laughs> Zootopia there is a lot of insurance yeah. ad lady rule 34 stuff. It's crazy. The internet's yep. so fucked up. That's why they pulled her. <laughs> People were too hot for the insurance lady. They had to pull her. Yeah, that, that's why they pulled her. And I've if got you look the... it up, that's, that's why they stopped her as, as the ad icon because. No way. Were too much doing sex? Too much of... Yeah, basically. Oh, fuck. All right. Well, I got the podcast episode image art, so. <laughs> That's oh, great. I'm, I'm all for it. Um, I found something good. Bookmark. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm going to share that one on the Discord right now so so the real fans can see this image. <laughs> but anyway, so it's tastefully censored. Um, <sighs> That's done. Oh, there it is. Kill the first uh, leader. The first cut is the leader. The first cut is the leader. All right, let's uh, let's move on to Monster Hunter World. Yeah. Wait, no, wait, no, 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 no. We have one final thing in Nintendo Direct. Oh, uh, I, I didn't think it was. I didn't think it was important. <laughs> and then, okay, the Nintendo Direct is over. We're done. Oh wait, and, and, there's and one more some, thing. One here's more some thing. Splatoon. And they show the Splatoon people again. I'm like, okay, yeah. got more stuff for Splatoon? Yep. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Inkling Girl and Inkling Boy, it looks like, are both going to be in Smash Brothers for Switch coming out this year in the fall, I think. They just this said 2018. Sure. They just they said just 2018. Said, I'm assuming it's going to be for holidays. Yeah. They've done, uh, they've done November releases in the past, but I'm not... This is Nintendo. I don't trust past... So is this a port or is this uh, a know. new game? We don't know yet, but my I've, thought my thought is port. I've heard I've heard I've heard rumor that this is a new game that they had in development for a while. I've heard rumors of that too, but there's no way Sakurai would have kept his mouth closed that long if it was a new game. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I do know that that it's kind of funny too because I saw I made fun of Nintendo fans on Twitter because it's just like. Uh, we don't want this to be a port, but also make sure it's exactly like Melee and all of these other games. <laughs> like, we don't want anything to change, but we want it to be a brand new game. It's like, okay, you're making an impossible demand here. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, oh, we want all of our favorite old characters and stages, and uh, but it can't be the same as the old games. No ports. We want an original it, game. It's going to be like this. They'll, they'll bring back Ice Climbers, but they'll get rid of Mr. Game & Watch, and everyone will be upset. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Man, do I love me some Melee, though. I played so much Melee. I mean, Smash 4 sucks. I'm just, I'm here to say it. Like, Melee was better. Fight me. In Melee. <laughs> I, I like them all, except for Smash 64. 
Yeah, yeah some but I'm not. I'm, love that I'm not big into any of them. Yeah. I just like them all. Um, no, I like them all too. I just I played like I. I mean, I talked about melee. Like we ticked over the hour counter in that game. Like. Yeah, you know, like 999 hours or whatever, because I mean that was so much play, like of that game. Like, so I mean, I get it. I mean, I've since melee, I've had the same two mains with one backup. I don't okay. play a lot of characters, but I typically I like Zelda, not Sheik. Okay. And I like Ness. Okay. Usually Ness first. It depends on the game. What's then, the tier? What's the tier list? What's the Smash tier list? Um, at Fox. Least Number one, Tox is always on top. Um, Jiggly is at least up there. Um, I mean, for Smash Four, it's kind of all over the place. Yeah, and that changes. You know, that just ha- changes every tournament. All right, let's check out the Smash Melee tier list. Zelda's usually on the bottom. Uh, obviously, everyone played. Man. Everyone played as Fox. Yep, and that's SS. It's in its own category. I always played as Jigglypuff or Luigi. Yeah. Um, I can't do Luigi right. I like I like Mario better. Oh, Luigi is so much better than Mario. They're so fast. I, I get that. I can't play fast characters, though. Oh, I love it. Um, I love um, Luigi in general, but I just can't do Luigi in Smash. Jigglypuff in Melee was good because I was very good at timing the insta-kill move that, that oh, rest, Jigglypuff yeah. had. Uh, and it was one of those things that we used to play. We never played. I okay. I know I'm in blaspheme here, but we always played in timed mode in my house and not counter. It's fine. You, you do what you you do what you will. You know. I know, but I just want to say stock mode is fucking stupid because when you're playing with four people, what you do when you play in stock mode is run around and not get damaged, and you win because you'll have like more two or three more stock than everyone else at the end of the game. Exactly. It's it just it it, it benefits bad like play conservative play, whereas. When you're doing time mode, it's just who can get the fucking most kills in five minutes. And so everyone's trying to kill each other. And that was fun. And then I love that too because and, – and this is what I hate because like people who play stock mode is the worst. Because when you're trying to get someone who's never played Smash before, and you're like, play stock mode. And they die because they're new at the game. And they sit for four minutes while everybody else finished. And that's not fun. With time mode, you're always in there mixing it up. Like, And, yep. and, I, always, and I always play with items on because – What's the point of not having the items on? It's fun. Yeah. It's like I'm not playing here for fucking keeps. Yeah, I'm Smash playing here because Smash is a party game is a great party game and the yes. items make it more Mario Kart ish, which makes yeah. the game more accessible. Okay. And that's the thing that, that pisses me off because my fiance played Melee, but she played Melee like with her high school friends and they were super hardcore about Okay, we're playing stock mode five only on Final Destination, uh, and that's it. And she hated the game, and everyone because it was like, of course, because it's not fun when you're playing that way. If you're not good or new at the game, like if you're good at Smash, that's fine because it's a good fighting game. Like deep down, it's got the mechanics, you know, to be a good fighting game. But like when you're new, it's it's just not good. I don't know. TJ, are you okay? Yeah. You just hearing screaming in the background. I'm assuming based my on my kids the are just being loud and annoying, right, kids? I, we can't hear them. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah. Oh! TJ, that was me that time. stop oh. antagonizing your children <laughs> on a stream. I, I haven't thrown anything at them yet. I'm mm-hmm. thinking about it. So anyway, like bricks. So, any final thoughts on Smash Brothers? Do you see? Uh, I like the memes of uh, all the final thoughts on Final Destination. Characters no in the items. background in the dark, like people trying to guess who's going to be. <laughs> oh yeah, in it. I, I love the memes about that. Yeah, yeah. I saw Knack. Uh, it was in the background there. Uh, what else we got? There was <laughs> a couple others I thought were pretty good. Um, definitely confirmed. Wait, Knack is in the You know who need? You know who needs to it? be in this game? Yep. We need the uh, the Planters Peanut mascot. Yes, he needs to be in this game. Mr. Peanut. Mr. Peanut. Mr. Peanut. Yep. Let's get some fucking advertising in there. Just and Cheetah. he can fight against yeah, the Monopoly Tuna. guy, Rich Uncle oh, Pennybags. Yeah, Mr. Monopoly. Get them all in there. See, I, I always used to think his name was Rich Uncle, Pe- Uncle Pennybags, but apparently that was never his name. That's yeah. I always heard his name was that. I, I yeah. think it's uh, it's Mandela Effect. 
the yeah, bat. probably. Um. Anyway, uh, let's talk about what I've been doing. Hacking. Uh, hacking. No, 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 no. no hacking. It's not. It's not hacking time. Hacking. I, I I do have a question though. Have you guys played? Uh, have uh, you guys heard? Have you have you heard of Salty Bet? Yes. That's why what? I got set up a Twitch account. Really? Yes. Matt, have you heard of Salty Bet? No. We're gonna be at like fucking four frames per second right now, but um, so Salty Bet is a online AI versus AI fighting game like channel. It's constantly playing matches, and what it is is it's you got, sign in yeah, to Salty got... Bet, and you can bet fake money on matches. Mm-hmm. So, this this <laughs> fighting game is using the Mugen M U G E N game yes. engine, um, and it has thousands yes. of self created, user created characters and move sets. Yes, every character thousands. in it's... all of every type of fiction is in this. Yep, fucking KFC, the Colonel is in this. Yes, Ronald McDonald, overpowered, um, and I think you're allowed to bet. And I think that they rebalance the character yes, after stats every... based on the bets to try and keep things as even as they can. No, no. I think they, they rebalance the characters after wins and losses yes. to try and get them as balanced as possible. Correct. But, but no, the, the the betting balance just determines uh, how much you're going to win or lose. Yes. So, or not win or lose, like, but how so much. So when characters get like favorited, they'll become more powerful because I think you're allowed to put money into characters. Uh, to like as like yeah, a community, that, yeah, that's and a separate so, fund you're able to do. Correct, from correct. Betting. And so if if everyone loves, let's let's say here on the screen is Super Saiyan Goku three, and everyone loves him, everyone can put money on him, and he'd get more powerful. And so when he would show up in matches, he'd be winning. Um, and then what would happen is there then there'd be a back back backlash, and he'd be like, all right, all right, Super Saiyan Vegeta or Goku. Needs to be, you know, lower down, and then everyone to vote to like lower his stats. So it's just kind of <laughs> like a thing where there's always like the new hotness and salty bet, like oh shit, oh fuck, you know, Saga is super overpowered here, you know, like so. No, it's a really cool thing, like uh, that I, I've always thought was fascinating, and somebody reminded me that it was a uh, that it existed, so I wanted oh, yeah. to, to bring it up. That's I was like, why. Oh, yeah. I haven't watched Salty Bet in a while, but no, neither you know, have it's, I. But it's, it's it's why I made a Twitch account. It's, yeah, it's, it was great. It's kind of a fun little thing. So um, we have yeah, uh, well, confirmation um, in the chat that Mister Monopoly is named Milburn Pennybags. Okay, so there Milburn Pennybag. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, I didn't know he had a first name. There was too. a there was a Salty Bet style thing. Um, so Twitch plays Pokemon, um, which that that official channel, um, yeah for a while was going through the different Pokemon games, but then for a, a large amount of time, it was playing either one of the Pokemon stadiums or Pokemon battle revolution. And you could bet on teams. And, and then after betting on teams, it was you're on the team and your votes help pick which moves you're using against the other Pokemon. Oh yeah. Yeah. It was, it was pretty fun. That's some cool stuff. Like yep. uh, I kind of like some of the Twitch play stuff. I mean, Nothing will beat the awesomeness that was that original Twitch, the original Twitch Pokemon, Pokemon Red and Blue run. You know, Praise the oh, yeah. Fossil, like, one of the greatest, like, just... That, I mean, I have a, I'm on a, like, hot take right now, but I feel like that was the end of the internet being okay. <laughs> like, right? What? <laughs> no, because, like, I feel like right after Twitch Plays Pokemon, like, I think that was the twist, like, in which the internet became bad. Oh, so you're saying that anarchy versus democracy, anarchy won. Correct. And that's the world we live in right now. That makes sense. What what I'm saying is, is because like this was in 2014, right? And it was like, I think, yeah, early February, 2014. And I think, I don't know when they finished, but I'm sure it was like a few months. Yeah. Oh, just a month, March, 2014. um, Pokemon red. And like, that was after that, you know, we had 2015, the election cycle started up again, and the the world ended. Yep. Yeah, Twitch Plays Pokemon is what brought me to Twitch as well. So. Yeah, I was Salty Bet before then, so it, it got me in first. 
Salty Bet's been going on for quite a while. Well, I remember Salty Bet playing before it was on Twitch. Yeah. Because that, that's what I remember Salty Bet from. Yeah, I, I did it a little bit after you when it was actually doing through Twitch. In order to bet properly, you had to set up a Twitch account. Um, well, let's talk about my games. You want to talk about this one then, right? Uh, Which is glary. Monhun World, baby. TJ, Sorry, we take, gotta play. Let me take the, yeah, I haven't put this disc in my system. Well, yeah, yet. we gotta play together. All right, what are you gonna? What's your main? What's weapon are you gonna main? TJ? Oh man, I. I want to do something dumb like great sword. Uh, two handed great sword. I, oh. I really, we want to do something slow. Oh, you saying dumb? Great swords, the fucking shit, man. Yeah, I am. I am I want... playing. So I started playing longsword, and okay. I love longsword, and it's, it's got a cool like melee combo style where you. So the way the longsword works, and and this is the great part about Monster Hunter World, is that each weapon is like its own game because it's completely different game mechanics. So it's kind of an awesome way to. Add so much depth because I was like playing longsword and I got through the, the normal rank and I started doing high rank stuff. And I was like, I'm getting kind of tired of longsword. So I picked up the great sword. Um, but let's talk about the longsword. So, longsword, you have these slashes, you do triangle attacks to build up a combo meter, and then you can use R2 slashes, which are like spirit slashes that do more damage. And if you hit all four of them, you hit the spirit round slash at the end. And your like meter goes up another level, and you're doing more damage, and you're gonna go up to three times, and then at any time you can use up a meter to do this like crazy thing called a spirit helmbreaker, where you like shoot your sword at a guy, you dive at him, and you jump up like thirty feet in the air, and then do like a big slash down. It looks awesome, and it like just really satisfying because when it hits, it shows like fifteen like damage numbers shoot up off the monster at once. Yep, go. No. Never mind. There's a dumber weapon. I want it. Okay. I'm going to start with hammer. Oh, hammer's <laughs> good too. Yeah. Hammer's awesome. I've seen a, a lot of good hammer. Anything play. that's slow and a lot of damage where you have to actually think before you swing. No. Uh, I like greatsword more than hammer, but uh, I play both. Uh, greatsword's fun because it's all about timing and spacing. Yeah. So, like, greatsword's all like. Uh, okay. So, the greatsword is super slow. And what that is is that you hit triangle to do a really slow slash that hits for a lot. And then what you do is you hold the direction and then hit triangle. And then you do like this wind up where it go flash three times and you time it with a third flash. You let go and you do a power thing and then you can do that three times. So the third one is like the super powered slash. And, and you, when you hit a monster with that, it almost always, depending on the monster and depending on where you hit them, like on the head or the legs will, mm -hmm. will stun them and they'll fall over. And, and so you can like stun lock monsters and you can do the same thing with a hammer. Because yep. the hammer does the same thing, except for I don't like the hammer as much because you have to hit, you have to hit consecutive hits for it to work. Whereas with the okay. great sword, you just have to hit that that final charge. And so, with the great thing about the great sword is you can run in, and do the first triangle attack, and then do the first wind up. But you don't have to charge it to go up to the next level. You just have to to swing, and then you do the third second one, and you swing, and then you do the third one and charge up three times. So it's much faster than okay. hitting consecutive hits with a hammer. Although hitting that fourth big bang attack or whatever it is with a hammer and breaking a horn off or doing the crazy animation is super satisfying as well. And I've, I've played hammer as well, but I wanted to try great sword because uh, the great sword has. Uh, so the, it's been in Monster Hunter for a while. Like, Greatsword, Hammer, uh, Sword have all been, like, staples in Monster Hunter. They're not new weapons to this game. Um, but one thing they added for Greatsword is... So you can always... You always are able to block with Greatsword. You can't block with Longsword. So you can hold R2 to block, and it uses your stamina bar when you get hit. Mm -hmm. um, but um, the Greatsword added a, a move called uh, Kick and Tackle. So when you hit Triangle when you're guarding, you'll kick. And if you hit Triangle again quick, you'll tackle... And tackle is invulnerability. And so if you are getting charged and you tackle when they're charging you, you will hit them and knock them over. And so it's this crazy, like, great sword where you, like, they'll fly across the room and you'll do this. And then they'll start racing at you and you can just, like, do this burst forward and knock them over. Like, it's just crazy. I'm, I'm a huge fan. And Hammer doesn't have anything like that. Hammer does have the ridiculous... Um, running up a wall or running uh, down a slope where you hit the thing, you'll do like this crazy, like fucking Sonic the Hedgehog, like spin with the hammer in the air and you can hit mm -hmm. a monster like 20 times with it. And it's really satisfying. Um, but uh, the, here's the thing. You can play them all and you can switch between them at will. 
like it's it's the great thing about the game is you're just like building up you know it's just, just looking such at a... pic- looking at pictures of these weapons i yeah. kind of maybe want to try out dual blades as well so you want to know the tier list uh, I, I, I'm looking at them in groups right now, which says light weapons, heavy weapons, uh-huh. technical weapons, and ranged weapons. But is there a tier list too? So I gotta you gotta go to the Mon Han World uh, tier list, right, which is really the quick. Japanese, which is the Japanese website. Matt, do me a favor. <laughs> um, can you see into my girl in my daughter's bedroom right now? Do you see a person I, in the picture? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You can't get dressed right there, Sav. Yeah, that'd probably be bad. I think we'd be banned <laughs> yeah. from Twitch. Yep. Here, I'll fix it. <laughs> Good. Uh, closer. There. Uh, Good enough. Fuck, what was the name of the fucking website? Oh, you know what? I think I messaged I my can brother. Keep your, TJ, I it. can keep your thing off this screen. All right. So, TJ, let's... Oh. Uh, it's what? the John Show now. Dog. All right. No, I'm I'm going to the Monster Hunter World website. Let's get the let's get the uh, oh as of updated today tier Just list um, of of weapons. So number the triple S tier TJ. No, I don't think it's real. What what was that? The, tri- the triple S tier. The triple Monster, S tier. The the highest tier of Monster Hunter weapons right now, as voted on by the Japanese Monster Hunter community. Hunting horn. No, absolutely not. That is the the lowest ranked weapon. <laughs> It's it's a it's meant for group play and buffing mostly. Yeah. So um no. Um I love that the Japanese has translated very awkwardly on this website um that I is being translated. So I'm gonna, I'll read these as they're called on here and translate it. The tier list triple S is twin sword. I think you know what that is. Twin blade, yep. Yep. Uh Blue also blades. on the top tier, A sword. That is a uh, long sword. Yes. Um okay. Chaku. <laughs> C H A A K U. Um, that's gonna be a, uh, a, uh, charge blade. Charge blade. You're right. Yes. Okay. And the last one is very easy. Large sword. Um. Well, is that the insect glaive? No, it's it's great sword. Yes, correct. <laughs> um. And then the SS tier is light bow gun, which is okay. correct. Yep. Uh, Surak. Um, Surak. That's that's the insect glaive. No. Um, switch axe. Switch axe. Correct. Okay. All right, this is my absolute favorite one because in Australian, this word means uh, what we used to call uh, development disabled okay. you know, or slowly developed, retarded, if you will, or retarded in growth. Heavy bogan. Because <laughs> that's the Australian word for is bogan. Okay. Anyway, bogan. heavy bogan. Yeah. Yep. And then bow. So oh, all yeah. those are, all the all the ranged weapons are, are high tier. Okay. Um, middle tier is lance. Which yep. is the lance. Okay. Gambler. Gun lance. Gun lance. Yeah, I know. I love it. It's called gambler. And then hammer. And then that. So th- those are all pretty good. You're not going to go wrong with any of those. And then the insect blade sucks, and so does the uh, hunting horn. Uh, and the one-handed sword. Sword and shield. Okay. Uh, sword and shield's nice, though, because you can... It's good for beginners, because... Uh, Quick combos, can, easy block. Yes, and you can actually use items without putting your weapons away. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, because you have a hand free. So, yeah. Whereas great sword and long sword can be difficult when you're fighting Rathlos, who is constantly chasing you around in the arena, and you have to keep putting your weapon away to try and chug a potion, and it and they keep just attacking you. And it's like it would be nice to be able to have that shield up and use a quick second to chug a potion, and you know. So anyway, no, it's a great game. I would highly recommend it. I can't get into it too detailed because there's just so much, and I've already gotten into way too much detail as it is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, but it, needless to say, uh, the game is like the best-selling Capcom game ever made, and that is Capcom, a company that has made very many famous video games. Um, so that's a pretty big deal. Mm-hmm. Um, I will say um, I understand the appeal now, having not been able to understand the appeal of any Monster Hunter games. Um, I understand why this has done better than all the other ones because it's on a big system, so it's not on a handheld. Um, yeah, and like the PS2 ones way back when. Yeah, way back when. Mm-hmm. But with online play too, which is mm-hmm. nice. Yep, which is really easy. Or not really easy. It's still kind of Japanese, Yeah, which means not great for online play like American games are. Um, so, but you can so- play online. 
like fantasy star online levels of online play yeah yeah, yeah exactly it works <laughs> But it's kind of weirdly, like, broken in some ways. Like, why can't we just join a quest as a party? No, no, no. I have to post it with the password, and then the people I want to join can join it and enter the password. As it's long as you've a... already started the quest. Yeah, it's yes, as long as you've seen the cutscenes in the quest, you can join. Yeah, it's so dumb. So, um, But that, that once you get through the story, it, it, it goes pretty fast. I mean, it... in a way... This give me this is give me a weird comparison. The pull for Monster Hunter World is an action combat version of a clicker game. It, it is, yeah. <laughs> but even more so, it's an action combat version of Destiny, and it is taken. Oh, yeah. It is destroyed the Destiny Two community because I know a lot of people have been talking like, "Nah, we play Monster Hunter now with our game group." Yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, because I know um, a friend of the podcast, and uh, not friend of the podcast, he's never on it, but a friend of ours, John Hudak, who used to live up in Madison. And I used oh, to the Dark Hudak, yeah. Yeah, the Dark Hudak. Um, yeah, we um, talked about him on the podcast. Yeah, listeners I, go back and watch uh, the episode, The Dark Hudak Rises. Yeah, the Dark. <laughs> so we played, uh, we played Monster Hunter online, and he was just like, "Yeah, uh, all my friends, we used to play Destiny together. Now we play Monster Hunter." And he's like ranked. 60 or something like all the way kitted out and it's like yeah it's it's because it's very addictive because it's a really good co-op game like and the loot grind is so much better than the way destiny is because it's not it, it relies on random drops but it also there's so much variability in what you can do where yeah. it's like, okay, I'm waiting for random drops, but I got like three different weapons I play between. And so every time I fight something, I'm like, ah, I got a couple more things towards this piece of armor. Or I got a... And you're always incrementally like getting more and more stuff. And and the, and the combat, because it's in, it's an open world now, it feels really fresh. Like you, like just, it, it feels like you're running around like this living, breathing forest and you can... Like, they're just, like, monsters will run into each other and, like, fight each other when you're fighting them. And, like, it's just every time... Like, even though I'm fighting the same monster over and over again, it doesn't feel like that, if if that makes sense. Like, it doesn't yeah. feel boring. Like, and it's because I can always try something new. I'm like, all right, I'm going to do this monster, but I'm going to use this weapon. Or I'm going to do this monster, but I'm going to focus on trying to break off its horns because I want to get the item that you know what well, you can only get if you break the horns so it's, it's kind of like all this complicated like stuff you can do in the game that just adds so much depth to it like and then they have like community quest events where like each week they'll have like different quests that are available for a limited time so i don't know there's just so much to do and like i'm talking about right now i want to play it again because i want to get better at the great sword yeah uh, <laughs> TJ, we're gonna have to play seriously. Yep. Sometime, maybe, maybe after this. No, you have to nope. get through some of the early parts of that game. If 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 we were gonna do something after this, we need to get a little further in Final Fantasy. Oh God, no! <laughs> it broke me. I was playing Final Fantasy. TJ and I were both playing Final Fantasy One, and uh, my emulator, I accidentally deleted like an hour of gameplay. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. No. I had to go back. So I have to like go through the dungeon again. That sucks. Yeah, it's fine. I it just I'm it really turned me off because I'm like, ugh. It was just an hour of grinding, you know. Like so, as resident podcast historian, I was able to find the Dark Who Deck Rises. Oh, nice. <laughs> Apparently, it's episode fifty nine. Fifty nine. Too bad I'm... it's not sixty nine. Yeah, I know. Hey, nice. Um. Yeah. Six years ago. Yeah. Like five and a half years ago. Yeah, this been is on this, here for a while. this is the start of Adam's betrayal. Yeah, where Adam's about to leave. He's about to move away. <gasps> oh yeah. Yeah. You guys talk about the betrayal for like weeks afterwards. <laughs> the <laughs> betrayer. The, I like it's the pen adamant episode. I called it. You're, you're the one who wrote that. <laughs> Adam's final appearance. I thought we had the Adam show. That must have been when he came back. Oh, the one where he exploded? Hmm? The the one with the bomb? Well, I don't remember, but I... I <laughs> oh, maybe not. You're right. It was before that. Hmm, fuck, man. Man, I did. <laughs> some of the old episodes were actually pretty good. Oh, man. Maybe not episode zero, but... 
Running with the Devil. That episode zero was even hard for me to listen to. <laughs> hey, man, it's podcast history. It is podcast history, though. Oh, fuck. Ryan I'm Cowboy. <laughs> Tyler. This is when I had Tyler in the Sex Crypt. Yeah. And Lance. This in the Sex Crypt. Oh, oh. man. Mercury, I, I know you're not listening to this. Please, I'd like to... I'd like to talk to you and be on an episode. Just, I'll I'll make time somewhere. <laughs> yeah, Just get in touch. Just don't email born in the eighties or sorry, bitecast at gmail dot com. We'll never see it. Oh, and here's the episode where Tyler left the show. <laughs> the uh, the problem is, as much as Lance still doesn't like that day, it was actually a pretty good episode. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, God. It's just yeah. All right. You know, let's get too heavy. Irreconcilable di- differences, man. Yep. We, we need some, we need some memes. We do need some memes. What's the meme? I know this meme, and I love this meme. I know this meme, and I love this meme, and it just came back with a vengeance yeah, lately. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wait, it's All old. Right. What's the history is, of this? It is old. So I, I've got it pulled up already because I was trying to look up the actual. What's name the name of, of the name? Peter it's what? Pete, Peter hurts his knee. So th- this originally came from an episode of Family Guy um, back yeah. in July 25th of 2000, yeah. season two, episode 20. Yeah. So um, during this episode, um, Peter basically finds whatever in this episode was very similar to a golden ticket. In this case, it was a hidden scroll. Um, and he like runs all the way across town and then trips and then he injures his knee and he doubles over in pain and whines for 30 seconds. Yeah. Just, uh, uh. And uh, even though it's been memefied, even as far back as far back as, <laughs> as far back as 2009, it just picked up recently. Um, really, I would probably go back to the uh, March 4th on Twitter mm-hmm. um, when Twitter user uh, Vapy Waved posted an edited version of the scene. Where you edit in graphics from Crash Bandicoot, mm-hmm. um, well, graphics and uh, graphics and sounds. So picking up a, a wump of fruit all the way into the trip, and the trip is an explosive toxic box. Yeah, um, my favorite. This is so how I got into it was the Burger King lettuce meme. Yes, yes, and uh, this one's posted here, and that was done by a uh, um, salty DK Dan. Yes, um, who posted this Twitter with the description, "Hello, yes, I am a professional Twitter." Or, sorry, I'm a professional video editor. And yeah. when he trips, it's a voiced version of the Burger King foot lettuce meme where someone reads the description of do not basically about not eating Burger King lettuce. users discovered the exif data on this photo. It's like him just narrating the... Yes. Like a robot voice guy narrating the fucking link <laughs> off of the Burger King lettuce foot lettuce meme, which yep. is a guy... This is from 2012, by the way, um, oh, yeah. where uh, <laughs> where this 14 anonymous 14 user is just standing in lettuce in his shoes at a Burger King. And he's like, "This is the lettuce you eat at Burger King." Ha ha ha! And then a bunch of people like basically figured out the location he was at and who he was based on the data in that. So, and then of course that became a meme. Yep. And it's ex- spiked exponentially since Mar- May or March 8th because. People are doing Burger King foot lettuce memes. I have um, in Twitter now. You can bookmark tweets. Where do bookmark tweets go? Because I bookmarked a couple of them when researching the Peter Hertz's knee meme. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you not find them on on desktop Twitter? So anyway, regardless of that, the memes are really funny. It's, it's just that like video of him hitting his knee and then like his mouth opening and closing to the time of various things or different no. songs or, or or not making him trip yeah, yeah, I've, yeah. Seen, I've, I've seen where yeah. he's fallen into a hole yeah. i've seen where he continues to run just off uh-huh. screen it was the wholesome one mm-hmm. um i've seen him where he flew away um uh-huh. and everything has some sort of cultural relevance you know whether yeah. it's, you know some sort of pop culture somewhere yep i just wish i could find where this stupid mm-hmm. thing on Ugh. where yeah. do bookmark tweets go on on desktop twitter which probably is nowhere yeah so meme corner is is good it's good shit i like this meme 
it's it's lovely okay M- matt what have you been up to i know you don't got anything no i don't got anything uh i started working on a new song but that's not interesting to talk about uh i uh, bought I, a I, couple I, of I new love listening to your stuff so oh thank oh. you thank you tell me more about how great i am um, tell awesome. me I more, bought, tell me more. Like, did he I have a I bought a, a couple car? more uh, drop mix expansion packs, and I'm probably going to I put drop mix on my wedding registry. On nice. <laughs> nice. I there's, can't buy uh, anything now. No, that reminds no, me, no there's a, an expansion pack that's Toys R Us exclusive, and I have to see if that's uh, available on their website. Did you hear Toys R Us was going to close all of their U.S. stores? They're, they're, yeah, like, in Yeah, that's talks why I need to possibly. figure out, like... Yes. Uh, can I get that on their website, or maybe it just yeah. won't be exclusive anymore if Toys R Us closes? But uh, uh, yeah, so there's like this whole drop mix subreddit that's kind of awesome. Like people are taking their decks and putting them in uh, cassette tape cases with like custom labels for each one. That, oh, are that is all, like, cool. Cool retroy, yeah. And some are even taking it a step farther to. I don't know if you've ever seen one of those old like cassette tape suitcases where it's got like foam inside with a bunch of slots to put your yeah. cassette tapes in. Some people oh, are finding great. like old ones of those on eBay to carry around their collections in. It's awesome. I'm falling deep into this hole. There's drop mix tournaments, I guess, are a thing nice. that Hasbro hosts. Uh, sure. man, I'm all in. I'm gonna all be right. a professional drop mixer. But nice. at the same do time, it. I don't know. I don't remember if I said this last time, but like, it's kind of the being a paleontologist in Jurassic Park feeling, where I'm like, "This is awesome! Uh, I'm gonna be replaced." <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys ready for some fucking bowels of Reddit? Because we're here. Yeah, let's I do clicked it. that I'm link. Here for it. I started reading, and it made me so sad. So, all right. Uh you know, uh, remember, you know, praise Harambe, uh, the incels Reddit's gone. Thank you. That is the theme song for incels. Uh, so the incels Reddit is gone. Um, but there is a, uh, um, let me, let me just read, uh, here we go. The red pill sub has been compromised. Uh, uh, a post says be warned. It's not longer a place where men can become awakened to the reality of all the bullshit surrounding them. MGTOW is basically the last sanctuary away from being a slave to pussy. Here's the proof. I commented on this post where the OP is gloating about how his this Tinder game is leaps and bounds better now than he's been using quote-unquote red pill tactics. Lol, lol, lol. I call him out on basically writing up a pickup artist field report. My comments even get upvoted. You can read them here to see that I simply asked from logical questions to why the sub is turning more into a pickup artist hub for guys trying to get laid. Got a message a couple minutes ago saying I was banned from the red pill sub for 45 days. Lol, 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 like I give a fuck. So what did the red pill sub is now just a pickup artist community is what they're saying. Men going their own way, which is MGTOW, is the new incels. Um, <laughs> um, so, no, I've got some good ones here. All right. Living with a woman is very frustrating. 165 upvotes. Edit. Frustrating. I'm not talking about the common behavior a Walt have. That's A W A L T. TJ, get the uh, look up on that. Uh, All women (laughs) uh, on the Wednesday have. I'm talking about more subtle things. Three things I noticed when I was living with them. One, don't talk about your plans. They will try to discourage you every fucking time and fucking is bleeped out he's self bleeped fuck and yep without even looking it up all women are like this okay thank you yeah, oh, i think you got okay. it okay yeah I mean, yeah that sounds like something that's a real thing yep even if they don't have any clue about what you're talking about 
Women have this insane necessity to give opinions about the things they don't know about. They can't be quiet and humble and just listen. They have to make random comments about everything. Two, don't make jokes. Jokes about them are the worst. They make all the dumbest shit. They make mistakes. We all do. But you don't ever dare make fun or jokes about their mistakes. They don't have a se- they don't have sense of humor at all. They are very egocentric and self-entitled. 3. Don't open yourself about your things. Don't complain about your job or about something someone. Don't find out about your life. Only women have right to complain. If you complain about the stupidest thing like the weather, whatever, they'll say that you are negative, that you are bitter and resentful. This is it. Men only exist to work and provide. Don't talk. Don't open yourself. Don't make fun. Don't be yourself. Don't expose yourself. Don't do that. (laughs) Just work (laughs) and provide them. Marriage is sad. Stay away, brothers. By Sounds like somebody needs a hug. Somebody yes, I is do. clearly in a bad relationship here, and uh, he's an awful person, probably. I mean, like, when yeah. you say stuff like jokes about them are the worst is, you made fun of your fucking significant other, and they called you out on your shit. And you're like, you're not funny. So, anyway. Um, let's look at this person's... Uh, I, this is something I love about Reddit. Uh, let's look at this person's Reddit history and see what they're into. Um, <laughs> because you know we can, we can see there. Um, he's got a lot of Spanish language Bitcoin things that he's at here. It looks like. Um, wait, no, this may be not Spanish. This must be Portuguese. Yeah, yeah, that's Portuguese. So this guy's speaks Portuguese, and he's the moderator of RSMLC. Stoic free men going their own way i don't know what this is for anyway there's only two people that subscribe to that one so anyway that's a man it's a man who has uh beef with living with a woman he likes to complain on reddit about women because you know women they don't they don't like say their feelings you know they keep it all bottled up i like to go and not talk to them but complain about them online with a bunch of strangers yeah (laughs) because that's what men do yeah okay um all right here we go this happened dot 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 a while back there was this girl who'd sit at the lunch table and flirt with the guys around her i didn't know her at all so when one of the guys mentioned she had a boyfriend that had graduated i realized she'd been flirting with the dudes at this table despite being in a relationship skip forward in time a bit during one of the holidays she's talking about all these gifts her boyfriend bought her she then asked guess what i got him I'm not sure why I said this. I guess I kind of felt pity for the dude with her. But I replied, sex? Question mark. She turned towards me, smiling, and asked, how'd you know? So I just said, you seem like one of those girls. Now I haven't seen her at the lunch table since then. I was a dick to this woman. <laughs> now she doesn't this dude. hang out this with me. This is clearly someone in high school, first off. Second off, this person is... Someone who is a girl whose boyfriend probably is in college or something, you know, so she's just hanging out with people and flirting, which is a talking to other guys yeah. because you're in fucking high school trapped in a building with everyone. Um, and and then she had sex with her boyfriend over the holiday break. And that and that was offensive to this guy that this people in a relationship. I, I mm, mm, you know, but you gotta go your own way. You go your own way, you know. Um, do you know what they yeah. should call this? As long as their way is like far away from me, that's fine. They can go their own. They way. They should call this subreddit not men going their own way, but it's men who should never be with women. That yeah. should be what this is called. Well, uh, it, I, I'm gonna take it one step further. They shouldn't be with men either. They don't seem to be mature <laughs> enough to be in relationships. Yeah, yeah, they should be with anyone. I, All right, we got I one, wonder if this got we, yep. more toxic since incels got shut yeah. down. No, probably. Well, I think this is where everybody went. But let's let's go to the final one we got here. We got a men going their own way shower thought. Uh, 42 upvotes. <clears throat> men going their own way shower thought. Now you can dress how you want. 
If you're not trying to get a promotion on the plantation anymore, then let's... I love this, too. Like, Wait, plantation. <laughs> let's just use some, some fucking signaling language here. Anymore, then what's the use of adhering to social norms regarding appearance? You might as well just dress like a pirate or a ninja or something. Why shop hey, at Abercrombie & Fitch? Why shop at Abercrombie & Fitch when you can shop at Colt or Athena? Why not be that guy if women are out of your life? I'm going to start wearing a leather tricorn hat and a trench coat with a collar that conceals my entire face like my Bloodborne character. I already carry a concealed Glock 19 everywhere, but I'm also going oh, to start good. carrying a sword like my 1796 light cavalry saber. Maybe on my back so that I can drive with it perfectly legal. Why should I care that anyone thinks if I'm not trying to impress women and blend in with society that revolves around them, I could actually pull this all off fashion-wise anyway, because I am in great shape. I have excellent eye for aesthetics and plenty of disposable income to blow on stupid stuff. There's nothing cringier than a fat cashier who can't comprehend fit or sizing. Nothing to gain by conforming to women's expectations. Hell, wear a western hat with the New Balance sneakers if you're feeling exceptionally bold and stupid. It doesn't matter. Nothing fucking matters anymore. Well, I agree with that last statement. Nothing matters. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but the kind of stuff he's describing... What? He's, he's basically seems like he's idolizing the Columbine shooter. You're literally going to dress up in a leather trench coat covering your face with a concealed pistol and a sword. Yeah. Now he's this putting a type... lot of effort into proving he doesn't give a shit about people. Yeah, this so, is the this that. is like well the thing is is that when you wear that, no one is going to talk to you in public. That's the person yeah. who gets the entire subway car to themselves. Everyone's like, I'm out. I'm going Let's to just call be thankful that this person can buy a gun. Yeah, you know, you know, <laughs> le you know, legally, um, you know, I'm sure. Let's see what else this man is posted about. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. A uh, lot of men going their own ways here. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Uh, university host conference on quote unquote toxic man masculinity. Only nine students show show up, according according to this post on men going their own way. Of course, this is a link to an article on thecollegefix.com, which says original student reported your daily dose of right-minded news and commentary from across the nation. So one has to assume that this is definitely not in any way biased. Um, um, but uh, uh, feminists fantasized about violence against men, quote here, hmm? Yeah, here here's a good quote. This is what this is. Guy, he's gonna murder someone. I kind of need to find out who this is because this feminist fantasize about violence against men. He says, or the, the the post says he quotes. I daydream about encourage encountering a feminist who believes that she understands anything about physical violence and teaching her otherwise. That's pretty That's fucked like, up. This is like That's an explicit up. threat to harm someone. This is a man who's carrying a Glock. And a sword. You, is there a way to report like shit like that? Mm -hmm. Now, if if he's concealed carrying a a sword, uh, you're not allowed um, to and, conceal carry a sword. Is, by the way, in Texas, you are a certain. Yeah, this guy doesn't live in fucking Texas. He lives in Texas. You think so? I think he lives in Texas. You think so? All right. Yep. If you're this guy, write in and tell us where you are. No well, reason. I know he's bi I know he's biracial. Cause he says in a later thing, uh, where he's complaining about someone uh uh, uh I don't know anyway. He so someone's talking about like how everything's all like liberal now on TV and somebody makes some comment about uh, he says, I don't know, racism against white people is socially acceptable now. You know, because of history books. I don't really know what to make of it. Okay. But, uh, anyway. He also c defends himself saying, as someone who is part black, I also 
because somebody goes a little bit further than he does. <laughs> and he's like, well, you know, slavery was bad, actually. Um, yeah. Wait, it was bad? No, he's oh, saying slavery crap. was bad. No, he's just... You're not going to believe this, TJ. You should check out history books. They're full of bad shit white people yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so anyway. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here's here's the final of this guy. Well, I'm not going to share his name because why should I? Uh, Sex to boost film career is not rape. Weinstein lawyer. He quotes, and this is the hottest take. Mwah, right off the oven. Right out the oven. Right out of the pizza oven. Harvey Weinstein is an American hero. For Jesus a short, Christ. fat, ugly guy like him to fuck all these Hollywood sluts is nothing short of inspiring. I hope he's acquitted of all charges, not charged with anything, and his accusers get sick and die. Yeah, so. Oh, okay. And someone says, he's six foot actually, but I agree with you. And then he's like, well, he looks short. <laughs> okay, so you have no facts. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I mean, this is just, I mean, like, this is the crazy thing you notice about people that are like this. Is this is people like self-radicalizing themselves. Because this person looking at his Reddit history is only on r slash news and r slash men going their own way. You know, so he's just complaining about news. Ooh, ooh. And he's complaining about I should, uh, news on... Yep, go. I should uh, teach you about a Reddit tactic um, okay. called throwaway accounts. Yep. Um, and our podcast listeners. So... On Reddit, you can have as many accounts as you want. Yeah. And typically, people who want to separate the kind of stuff they do on one Reddit versus a subreddit versus on another Reddit will have what they call a throwaway account or alternate yeah. accounts, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, but typically, uh, if they want to hide some of their real identity or some of their, their real thoughts and have a different persona somewhere else, They'll have a different account. So, like, when you're looking through their Reddit history and you're only seeing news and stuff from men going their own way, he may have another account. And most likely, he has another account that he does upvoting through, that he does comments through. He may accidentally post his one, but yeah. it, he'll be good to clean it. Mm. Well, I reported his post where he talked about harming someone, so... Yep. Least I could do. I mean, if you're going to make an explicit physical threat not at one person but a class of people that's enough yeah that's ridiculous anyway anyway that's but the thing is is that you have to realize and then i wanted to talk about one final thing is giving me some sort of hope whether where, wherever you stand on second amendment issues fucking the the marjorie stoneman douglas high school kids fuck yeah man like that is awesome they're like using their like position and activism and like kind of energizing schools across the u.s right now like that's mm. awesome like it's a tragedy yeah those kids are fucking heroes yeah fucking heroes man like if i i, I couldn't have done shit like that when i was in high school are you and, kidding me and the thing that upsets me is the fact that grown-ass adults are sending them death threats oh, I know. and and i'm like yeah. it's just the most I, insane you're just shit. you're just proving their point i know it's so yeah. dumb like it's just like are you are you kidding me and then you know you have pundits like oh don't listen to these kids and it's like okay but like and it's just the most insane fucking garbage it's like dude these people are gonna vote next year so get your fucking shit together because i'm sure they're not gonna forget about all the marches they did and all the people that threatened them with expulsion for you know just wanting to not be shot in school you know i feel like that's something everyone mm -hmm. deserves um yeah i'm kind of glad i got out of school before I this shit started happening jesus i saw a, a, a right-winged um meme going around oh yeah about uh Oh, the top five, um, the top five cities on the murder charts. Oh yeah, um, oh, I yeah. replied to this on Twitter. Yeah, the top yeah. five cities on murder charts. If you were to a take them away, yeah, it would make us like one of the lowest. Um, one eighty nine out of one hundred ninety two countries in yeah, murder. Which rate. first of all, depends on your definition. Depends on your definition of countries. Yeah. Um, number two, you're you're missing suicides, which is a big yeah big issue when it comes to guns but number three like well yeah they all they've all had a democratic you know mayor for this uh -huh. long and and they all have gun control laws yeah where, where do you think they get their guns outside of the city yeah yeah well okay i want to complain can, about 
like that even more because literally what they're well, saying it's, is it's just so fucked up look at the number of murders in america man we're number three in the world of countries for murders this is insane yep. remove the five most populous cities in the u.s and we all yep. of a sudden have 190 seconds on murders not murder rate per capita mind you which is yep. what would not change if you removed those big cities correct uh, i mean it would change somewhat but we would still not be as low as that it's just like literally saying well <laughs> remove all the places where people live and there's no murders yep <laughs> like okay yeah good, good good logic there you take every person out of this country and there's no murders in the yeah. country uh, it's the uh roll safe uh, meme can't yep. have murders if there's no one there <laughs> like <laughs> like yeah, it's fucking ridiculous like wait is anyway. that what it's called roll safe no no no. that that's the name the of meme. that character in that like that uh show or whatever that oh, okay from yeah. Gotcha, it's, it's like a i forget that uh i forget like i haven't watched the the show that, he, that, that that's from or the i think it's like a canadian short film uh let me just let's just a meme meme corner again this, i love this roll safe meme by the way uh but uh, of course this is black twitter uh keode iwumi iwumi oh man i can't pronounce that name uh the web series called hood documentary uh reese simpson aka roll safe um uh it's just a huge huge meme uh, can't can't fuck up your knees if you amputate both your legs. Yeah, the first meme <laughs> that they found here was when you piss her off on purpose so she can say goodnight at six and you can just play FIFA for the rest of the night in peace. <laughs> you know, that's the I love I that. I love FIFA that in a while. Meme. So yeah, they like, can't get fired if you don't have a job. Oh, yep. Yeah, good meme. Anyway, so I don't know. I I think we're I think we're done though, right? We're kind of at time. Yeah, we're good. I mean, we we're right at about two hours. Perfect. Right. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, now any final finish. thoughts? Um, I can I can uh, tant, fave fave five. I actually okay. was looking through that again. I want to do that again. Yeah, that was a, that's, that's a great Ro- segment. Rotten Tom- Rotten Tomatoes does a, or does a uh, interview series where they do their five five favorite movies from all these famous people, and you you guys got to try and guess who who it is based on the descriptions mm-hmm. and their interview comments. I'm really uh, bad at it, but I love playing. Yeah. Um. So, and I've been watching, I watched the entirety of the show Search Party, which is really good, and uh, Atlanta, uh, the new season started, I've been watching that, so, tant those for next week, we'll get to that. Um, yep. TJ, you want to you wanna talk about something before you leave, your Twitch affiliate status, road to affiliate? Yeah, um, uh, I still need six more followers, just like I did last week, but I've only, six streamed, more. One, I've only streamed once in the last week, because I watched I've been, it. I've been, I've been, I have been fucking tired, Um. Uh, B, you know, those those feelings of inadequacy inag- have been coming through. And C, I know I get I know I get a lo- lot more viewers when I do party streams. So yeah. I might just do a, a another party game stream after I come home from work tomorrow night. Nice. So that'll be a later one, but if you're listening live, tune in tomorrow night. If yeah, if I can get a uh if I can get a good uh six average that night, um that should put me over. Um I think last night was a two average. I didn't look it up. I was I on always, there. I was I, there. I always have, I always have yeah. a feed of myself. We, so we I were the two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got up to about three. We got to three. Uh, there were three people there feed. at one point. You know, I, I was so. the third. I got it. <laughs> Fair enough. But anyway, no, yeah, road to affiliate status. Um, anything else? But, uh, but I added I think... some cool stuff to my. Str- I added some cool stuff to my stream. Yeah. I fixed some of the alerts, so okay. everything uses. With me talking about my. Sh- my people watch me saying that there are uh, low res heroes because I yeah. always stream in low res. All of my Twitch alerts now show up in an eight bit font. Nice. Oh, nice. Um, including so some works. with pictures. Nice. So yeah, if I get an, if I get a new follower, it comes down from top. It's got a, like a, a walking uh, baby Mario on Yoshi. Nice. And then they walk off screen. That's 16 bit TJ. I know. You said but eight the, bit. The text is eight bit. Stop lying. Oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Fake text news. Text is eight bit. And, and and my heroes are low res. Nice. Well, um, okay. I added a stream boss thing, which that Oop, that's that's a thing gun. where. Oh, you know you're good. No, get, this is part of the. Let's well, start. We're doing boss. the end. But yeah, I added a stream boss thing, and then I had the the follower count in the bottom, kind of like, uh, kind of like a Matt does right here, but it's not a count; it's a bar because we mm-hmm. got to hit that fifty. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Gotta get that. Get boom, that fitty. Boom. boom. Gotta get boom, that fitty fitty. Yeah, TJ. Is that a song? No. I don't know. It sounds like a song. Anyway, um, so TJ, where can people find you on Twitch? Um, you can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash May of May. May um, of May. The month of May of May. Yes. Uh, the, the the name of May at the month of May. Yeah, or, sorry, May of May. Or, of May. Um, but you can always catch uh, when, I'm, when and where I'm streaming. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, that's at May of May 84. Nice. I'm on Twitter as well. Uh, you can find me tweeting... Uh, Memes at Charlie Kirk, the founder of TPUSA. I like to argue with him uh, to no one in particular. Just to but, bark know, at the moon. Well, you know, he'll post stupid <laughs> shit, and uh, I just have to respond to it because it's just the dumbest shit. Uh, he, let me just say that this man, Charlie Kirk, the founder of uh, TPUSA, the AKA college dropout, hello fellow kids of the college. Uh, Republican movement because this guy's like fucking 35 and hangs out with like 20 year olds um, he posts like he's a walking like the emoji where it's like hmm he's just that every post is like oh, I wonder why this is and that's the worst type of commentary like when you have yeah. no no insight only questions which is basically what most you know of this what, this this style of right wing punditry I mean you can be a conservative news outlet and not be ridiculous like this is. Uh, just posting, like, dumb shit, like, literally saying, like, oh, the, hey, guess what? War, the Korean War is fixed, solved. All right, just, nope, it's, it's over, we won. Like, okay, jump in the gun a bit here, I think, <laughs> on this. It's just, it's just insane. Like, it's just some nonsense shit. Like, uh, yeah, anyway, so he's a piece of shit. And, uh, and uh, uh, the TPUSA is a terrible organization. Just read uh, the article about the Kent State TPUSA lady who quit over uh, the rampant sexism and terribleness of that organization. So uh, I want them to be dead. So <laughs> help me, help me kill them. No, they're a terrible organization. They're sexist. They're racist. Yeah. They're run no, by I a don't college disagree. dropout loser who uh, encourages men to dress as babies and then disavows that they thought that was a good idea after everyone reacts negatively. So basically, if you're working for this organization, if something goes bad, the national organization, TBUSA, is just going to say, we didn't have anything to do with it. And they're going to leave you out in the cold. So that's someone you want to work for, I'm sure. So anyway, moving on. That's John Danger. John underscore Danger <laughs> on Twitter. <laughs> And you can find me at Matt Hag Music everywhere. I got a I got a song out, so search for Spiky Cars on all the streaming bits and stuff. And uh, I think I played it after hey. the last episode. Oh, nice! And uh, if you if you identify with any of the thoughts that we've discovered in our bowels of Reddit segment, talk to somebody. See a therapist. Yeah, you know that's all I gotta it's say. It's okay Is to it... talk to somebody. I was an angry, like, single boy when I was, like, 15 or 16. Reddit didn't exist, so I could only just write in my diary about my fucking girls that I wanted to date but was too afraid to ask out. Um, just talk to someone, you know? Like, like, don't talk on Reddit. Talk to people. Yeah, Up like updates. a real actual human in real life. I actually only need four more followers. Ooh. Ooh. So we're getting there. Well, there's five viewers right now, so one of you go subscribe Get to TJ. Get the fuck over there. Get um, the two fuck, of those viewers for me. <laughs> TJ, stop it, artificially TJ. inflating our viewers. We're going to get in I'm trouble for nipples to. and juicing the numbers. Yeah. <laughs> juicing the nipple nipples? numbers. Nipples? No. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to see no, this. I think I think man nipples are outlawed on Twitch too. They are too. Yep. So, I guess too hot. Too hot, hot for, for Twitch. Twitch. Too hot for Twitch. Right. I think we already named an episode. Bye stream. Bye bye. <laughs>
Yeah, it actually all sounds pretty good. I'm not gonna Rolling lie. Rolling around at the speed, speed of, of sound. Round. Well, Rounding first. around at a round of round. Round, 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 round. Round, 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 round. M Matt, we gotta play pub. We gotta play Fortnite. I guess pub goes over. I don't want to play Fortnite. I don't want to have to deal with crafting and shit. All about Fortnite. I, I started playing it this morning. So the, all the kids are playing. Yeah, you don't know how many people bought PlayStation Xbox cards to get the Battle Pass last week. Of course. Alrighty. I'm ready to start if you are. Oh, oh, oh fuck. All right. That was weak. All right, let's start. Uh, did you say, did you mention that we're alive? Oh, you <laughs> said like we're alive. Share, sharing, sharing. I, I, I said we're live all over the place except for uh, Twitter. Ah, uh, Twitter, the two genders. Uh-huh. Um, what? Baskin Robbins and Dunkin' Donuts. Twitter is my babyest number and I'm on Twitter. Twitter. Twitter is the worst place in the world on the oh, internet. My, pig, my piggy came loose. Lovely. Hope this is gonna be a thing the whole podcast. Okay. All right, here we go. Wow, 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 wow. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hey Arnold, remember that show? That's got a great theme song. Remember, this is what Hey Arnold looks like now. Feel, want to feel old? Who would Hey Arnold look like if he was old? A football. <laughs> Just a football. I like that. <laughs> hey Arnold, as in. Old man. So when was Hey Arnold on? Didn't that start in ninety four? Maybe like went through ninety nine? No way it was ninety four. I was in fourth grade when that ninety six TJ, get the fuck out of here. That was close. Uh, that's still so earlier than I would have thought it was. What grade were they in in Hey Arnold? Fourth like grade. grade. Fourth grade. You're what? so off. You don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. How are they in fourth grade? Get the grade? fuck off this They're, podcast. They, they were not in fourth grade. <laughs> Your Hey Arnold knowledge is not. I need to see some sources on that. How old's a they fourth were... grader, TJ? TJ, no. I know you like to spend a lot of time outside the school. How old's a fourth grader? Um, uh, eight to nine. No. We'll say, wait. No, nine to ten. Nine to ten. No, okay, let's say they're ten. Um... So that would make what? So that was twenty-two years ago. So they're all thirty-two. Basically, your age, John. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Hey, Arnold, you're thirty-two now. All right. Hey, Arnold. Um. All right. I'm ready to start. If you want to cut the the music. I will not. The the pubesic. The pubesic. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> I'm sorry.